Hi everybody, uh, I made a video a few years ago about how to make an anvil. I was pretty much just messing around because I knew that you know, I just wanted to make one for myself, but um, I, I finished it. Since a lot of people, 149,000 people have watched the video, I figured I'd better finish it. So I just, here's some of my anvils <clears throat> and I'll give a demo on how to tell if, what a good anvil is. So this is just a lump of 4140 unheat treated and I'm going to take a one inch ball bearing and bounce it off of it and you'll see what kind of rebound it gets. Not so good. Here's the anvil I made. This one is a, it's got an AR400 uh, hard face that was welded by a good friend of mine, Harold Hillborn, and it's a A36 burnout for the body. So it makes a pretty decent anvil. Not too bad. This one is a Fisher sawmaker's anvil Wrought iron body, hard steel face. Real good. And this one here, this was made in 1817. Yeah, it's stamped on it, maybe earlier, but it's a wrought iron anvil. It's a church window anvil. It's just beautiful, all handmade. And this is what it can do. Not too bad. And this, for all of you guys who think you can make an anvil, I made this one. And it's a A36 mild steel body with a hard face that I welded on. I made this thing probably 15 years ago because it, I know it looks like something out of a cartoon. But this is what happens. Pretty bad. And then this anvil here, this is a 300 pound coal saw made in Sweden. It's a cast steel anvil. So they melt the metal pour it in a mold. Much better, isn't it? And then this anvil here is a petting house. This was a, it's all forged. It's the only forged anvil left, well, the ones that they still make in the world. This one here is pretty awesome too. Probably the Rolls Royce of anvils. And this is an early Peter Wright that has just had the tar whipped out of it for a couple hundred years, or at least 150 years. Made in England. Great anvil. And then this is a button made in the early 1900s. It's a tool steel body with a wrought iron base. Great anvil. So now you can kind of see the differences between all the anvils. And there's a shaper. I'll make a video again with lots of shaper time. And this is my new shop. I uh, moved out of the house. There was no more room in the house. So we got a building. Anyway, that's it. Talk to you later.